let's talk about how you would get little cute patches that you've made or other pieces of fabric sewn down to your quilt top. Name of the game, applique. And with applique, you've got two choices, ah, three choices. Number one, what we're talking about in this video is the most classic of applique is called the needle turn applique. Technically, needle turn, you do it as you sew. You use your needle in your hand to help tuck under little edges as you go. Okay, but I, I find it's six of one, half dozen of another. I can either take a moment now to pin, like you see me doing, and it'll make the sewing a lot faster, or I can go and needle turn as I work, and I just go a little slower. So it's, one's not faster than the other. This is my preference. I also plug for these cute little applique pins. You see they're a fat centimeter, three quarters of an inch perhaps, and uh, they're just great. Sure, you could use longer ones, right? This is a traditional straight pin, you see that? But these tend to be really longer than you need and anything sticking up is just an invitation for your thread to get stuck on it. So I love these applique pins. Okay, so you can decide, sewer, you, that's you watching this video, whether you wanna come in from the top or come in from the back. Traditionally, we come in from the back because people like to often hide their knots, right? What? I didn't do my knot. Okay, so take a moment if you haven't done that and do that quilter's knot, i show you. Look how fast and easy that was. Wow, I didn't even have to look. Okay, you can decide whether you wanna hide your knot on the back or let it float on top. Doesn't matter to me. You do a running stitch here, right along that folded edge. Yeah, I'll give you, get you in close so you can see. Let me take this pin out now. Look. See, I'm just going right up against that folded edge. You can do that with this folded edge needle turn applique because a folded edge of a piece of fabric is really strong. You, could, you can't do this with the next thing I'm gonna show you, which is raw edge applique, because it would just fray. It would fray away. Okay, so that's how you do it if you pre-pin, which is my suggested, my preferred way to do it. Uh, but let's say you don't have these cute little pins. You only have big straight pins. So then what you would do is needle turn. I'm gonna hide this little thing right here. It's cute, but for sake of demonstration, I'll get at your face. Okay. So then, if you're going to do true needle turn, then as you go, you're using your needle to help you kind of turn the seam allowance under. And now you've noticed too, unrelatedly, I've switched to using a whip stitch. This is another stitch you can use here. So notice the difference. So a running stitch leaves this fine little margin, this little space between the stitch and the fold, right? The whip stitch, you notice, wraps around the fold and into the fabric. So here's the difference and here's what it looks like, okay? You'll notice that my thread is coming up the foundation fabric and I'm gonna bite down into, just on the other side of the fold of my applique piece. I'm gonna, oh, I did that too fast, didn't I? I'm gonna come out the foundation fabric. So into the applique patch, out the foundation fabric. Into the applique patch, out the foundation fabric. There you go. See, just like that. How close you make these stitches is all up to you. That's part of your personal stitch language, which will evolve over time. There's a whip stitch for you. I, I use a whip stitch a lot. I really like it. Heidi and Amanda, they like to use those. Okay, now, since I'm showing you stitches, we got the running stitch, the whip stitch. Let me show you the ladder stitch. I'm gonna pin again, just cause, especially for sake of demonstration, it's easier. Okay. Ladder stitch. Why learn the ladder stitch? Well, it is, the thread becomes invisible with a ladder stitch and it's really strong. A lot of people like to use it for binding. Here's what it looks like. <clears throat> okay. So I'll do it and then I'll explain it. You just follow along for a second. Get this out of the way. See what I'm doing? See? 
get my pen out. So the idea here is you go in to your foundation fabric. You take a, you know, normal size bite. And then where this thread is coming out of the foundation fabric, you hop down into your applique piece and you run your needle. Get out the way, thread. You run your needle inside that fold, right? See that? And if you've been really careful about where you put your needle, that thread basically disappears. You see how little of that you see? And if you're using a finer thread here, it would entirely disappear. Part of that's just because it's chunky, okay? So again, the ladder stitch, you see where this comes out of the applique? So this time I'm gonna go into the foundation and where the thread comes out of the foundation, I'll go back into the applique. Trying to line that up exactly because that's what makes the thread stitch disappear into the fabric. Wow. Okay, so this is the ladder stitch. Pros is invisible-ish. It's strong. This is the whip stitch. Love it. It's not invisible, but it is small and cute. Also strong because you're clipping right along. You're, you're you know, you're, you're <laughs> biting into the fold. Running stitch. Also strong. Okay, pick your favorite. It's all the same to me. Just wanted you to have these tools at your disposal.